Welcome back to Spill the Cha. I'm Fanny and with my fellow friends Evelyn will be your narrator for this episode. Today we will provide you with three interesting topics. So let's get started. Topic number one, table manners. Do you know that in Korea there are several table manners that you need to follow? For example, sticking your chopsticks onto your rice like this is not always and considered extremely rude because such gestures are meant for dead people. There's also lifting your bowl or plate during meals, chewing your food loudly, putting your spoon on the rice bowl in the stabbing position while taking a side dish, leaving the table before the others finish their meals, and even eating before the oldest person on the table takes a bite. All of those are against Korean table manners. It's also obligatory to say terms such as Jalmakasamida before you eat and Jalmakasamida after you eat as a sign of gratitude for the meals. Moving on to the next topic which is fashion. As you guys know, Korean has the most talented fashion designer and the most fashionable people. Either dressing up casually or formally, Korean seems to impress people around the world with their style. They care and pay attention a lot to how they dress. So when someone ruins fashion or has a bad fashion sense, the term of fashion terminator comes to play. Better know a thing or two about Korean fashion before you get called a fashion terminator. <sighs> That's it why we have prepared four Korean fashion trends to upgrade your look. First up, is the monotone outfit color, oversized tops, blue stones, and lastly, chunky sneakers. Now we move to the third topic, K-pop. Who doesn't know K-pop? It's probably what South Korea is most famous for, and maybe it's the reason why you are watching this video. Did you know that the first generation of K-pop group was introduced in 1995, which was 25 years ago? This group make up the foundation of K-pop idol group that continue to rise generation after generation. Not long after that, the K-pop industry started to rise, thanks to the second generation of K-pop group that attract fans worldwide. The K-pop industry just keep growing onward up to the fourth generation where we are now. So, if any of you guys wondered why we are so immersed in the world of K-pop, why is it so interesting, and why is it worldwide phenomenon? Well, there's a lot of reason for that, and maybe discussing all of them would take forever. But here's some K-pop most attractive and interesting notes: costume, magnetic melodies, color theory, music video, music video theories, choreography, hardship during training, diverse talent, fan service, and most importantly, lipstick. I think it feels kind of nostalgic to look back at when you first started to listening to K-pop. How your bias group have grown? the size of your fandom then and now, and how K-pop impact and develop you as a person. Okay, enough of the emotional stuff. Let's move on. For the next topic, we will discuss about Korean food trends. As we are Spill the Cha, who brings you the hottest information about all things Korea, we will definitely serve you the latest trends for your Korean munchies adventure. We hope you enjoyed our first episode. Stay safe and healthy and see you next time. Thank you for watching.